grammarians. So today we're going to talk about the third and final function of the colon. So this final function of the colon is that it can be used as a separator. So it might sound like we're talking about the comma again, right? The comma separates elements of a sentence, but the colon does it in kind of a different way. So let's look at some examples. So one common use of the colon as a separator is in titles. So you can have two separate parts of the title or like a title and a subtitle for a book or a movie or a TV show, and there'll be a colon in between them. We can have something like Bear Man Adventures in Alaska. Another common use of the colon as a separator is in citations from a book or a poem and pretty often the Bible. For example, we can use it to separate the number of a Bible chapter from the number of the verse. If we want to reference 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4, we can write it like 1 Corinthians 13 colon 4. Finally, we can use the colon to separate the hour from the minutes in the time of day. If I want to tell someone what time it is, I can say it is now 10.09 a.m. And between the 10, which is the hour of the day, and 09, which is the minutes, we put a colon. So that's how the colon works as a separator. We can use it in titles, citations, and times. You can learn anything. Page out.